Hello guys and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I have a very special video for you guys. So you are very lucky that you're currently watching this video and that you actually clicked on this video because we are going to open this legendary booster pack collector's tin here from Japan. And this tin actually is such an awesome design. It has the Black Luster Soldier here and of course Yami Yugi. The coloring is also very very cool and there's some Egyptian theme and design going on here. So all in all just a very very beautiful tin. And yeah, in ancient Egypt there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for a millennia. Now one boy has released the power, it's time to duel. So yeah, very very awesome tin. We have the Millennium Puzzle here. Um, yeah, same branding here and on the back side here it says Booster Pack Collectors in 2004. And yeah, there's one promo card, one special card in here and in total there is six booster packs in here. Back in the day this tin was about 10 bucks here and yeah nowadays you pay around 400 to 500 bucks for this tin here and yeah this is a very expensive tin and yeah why am I opening this why am I not keeping this sealed the reason for that is these guys over here I'm collecting every single OCG booster and in this tin there's actually quite a lot of boosters I do not own yet and I just thought yeah there is a lot of booster packs in this tin and yeah why not try to get these boosters in mint condition for displaying purpose only of course and yeah we are going to open this tin for the packs we are not going to open the packs so if you're just here to see some old booster packs open guys unfortunately this is not the video for you guys but if you just want to see how the inside looks of this very old tin just stay tuned we are going to open it right now Okay guys, let's get into this tin here and yeah, I'm not sure what happened here because it kind of looks like there is some extra foil in here or packaging and it got sealed again. But yeah, I am pretty sure that this is like a factory error or something like that. So yeah, let's get into the tin here and yeah, the seal is broken. So yeah, all the value is gone. No, it's not gone actually because I'm keeping the pack sealed. Um, the value is most likely preserved pretty well and yeah again these booster packs themselves they are so expensive and yeah it doesn't really matter if I'm opening this booster pack tin here or if I'm just going to buy the singles here uh, for the booster packs it really doesn't matter or not much and yeah let's have a look what it looks like here in this 2004 tin okay seal is opened let's have a look together and yes there we go guys let's see what we have here okay is there anything else yeah there is some something but yeah most likely just a survey Let's put everything back here, also this thing here, and put the lid on. Such a nice design of the booster pack tin here. I will keep this also, and yeah, let's have a look what we have here. So we have our promo card, and yeah, this is probably the best promo card you were able to get from these old tins. There were a lot like um, in the prior tin to that, and in the 2003 version, you were able to get the Beast of Talawar and Ultra Rare. In this tin you got the Chaos Emperor Dragon and Ultimate Rare and then you get um, End of Anubis Ultimate Rare, then Steam Healer Ultimate Rare. So yeah, this is by far the very best one here. Has a lot of value also. And yeah, let's carefully open this little plastic thing here without damaging the boosters. We are opening the 2004 seal right now. And it's coming off guys. All right, let's put them like this so I'm not spoiled. And yeah, let's have a look at the promo card. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, bent, unfortunately, but yeah, not too much to worry about. You can straighten it up really easily. And yeah, the centering actually looks pretty good here on the promo. So yeah, 
a near mint copy of a Chaos Emperor Dragon and of course I will keep this guy here sealed. Alright, then let's get into the booster packs and here with the very first booster pack we have Duelist Legacy Volume 5. And yeah, in Duelist Legacy Volume 5 you were also able to get an ultimate rare and I think for this booster pack it's a perfectly ultimate great moss you can get an ultimate rare, so a very epic ultimate rare. But again, I'm not going to open this pack, it's just such a cool pack here to have sealed and yeah, it will go to my sealed collection, so yeah. This is the purpose of the video today. And yeah, next one here we have Duelist Legacy 4. Also a very cool artwork here, but still these are like the lower end artworks. There is so much more cooler packs coming up guys. So yeah, stay tuned in just a few minutes. You will have to, you will be able to see these very cool old booster packs. And we are going to end here with Duelist Legacy 3 here. And yeah, now I have Duelist Legacy 2, 3, 4 and 5, so I'm just missing Duelist Legacy 1 by now. But yeah, I will find that, very very sure of that. Yeah, very very cool pack here again. And yeah, this actually uh, featured uh, also two ultimate rares, I guess. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but in all of these you were able to get ultis. Okay, next up we have this beauty of a pack here in back. You can see the Archangel Zorato here and in this pack you were actually able to get also the ultimate rare Jinzo and yeah Zorato of course so there's two ultimate rares and in these packs the pull rate of an ultimate rare were uh, one in every three display boxes so the ultis are actually pretty pretty rare and in one of three boxes you were able to get a parallel rare and in one of three you were able to get an ultimate rare so yeah actually these cards are pretty hard to pull so yeah, there is absolutely no way that I'm going to open these. I'm keeping these sealed for the collection and yeah, when I'm showcasing an ultimate rare from the set, I will be able to show the booster as well. So yeah, that's the main purpose of why I'm keeping these packs preserved. Okay guys, so there is six booster packs in total and we are down to the last two ones and yeah. Wait a minute, is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's actually seven packs. Damn, okay. Because I, I saw like three and I was like, what? Why is there three? And yeah, I know that the first pack here was one because I saw it already when we opened the tin. This is also a very, very epic pack. But this is, I think, third place because considering what is still coming, even this cool artwork of a pack is on third place. So yeah. There is something very epic coming and yeah this is also such a cool artwork guys look at this the blue coloring uh, i really like blue colored things and yeah such an awesome pack design i love these so much and yeah we have summon skull here in the background and he's like roaring and letting off some thunders lightning bolts here such a cool design okay guys now to the really really big packs we have a sealed booster pack of this year with the Dark Magician of Chaos in the background. Guys, just look at this artwork. Isn't this incredible? Isn't this awesome? So cool, right? And yeah, of course, you were able to get the Dark Magician of Chaos here in Ultimate Rare in these packs. Man, I've never opened these packs when I was a kid. Fortunately, I really didn't buy many packs because I just didn't have money back then especially not when I'm just visiting Japan and yeah such a cool pack really really awesome love it really happy that I'm able to add this pack to my collection now and yeah nobody touched this pack before me so yeah this adds a lot of value as well okay guys look at these awesome packs and now we are at the final booster pack and this is the most expensive booster pack just right after this one here and this one here actually is Spell of Mask. If you didn't know, you were able to get the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes. And yeah, next up here, this is the second most expensive OCG pack here, at least from the normal booster series. And we have this pack over here, guys. Look at the coloring. Look at the purple. Look at the Black Luster Soldier here in the back. It's actually the very same like here, just the coloring is a little bit more purplish. 
and yeah such an awesome pack and this pack alone is like 70 80 euros something like that if you get it at least if you're able to find it for that price but yeah such an awesome pack i really like the coloring and yeah wow guys i think i finished all boosters at least from the main series now because uh, i was missing these three here these three booster packs were still missing in my sealed collection and now i'm able to add these to the collection look at the shine here such an awesome design and yeah of course dualist legacy i have uh, i'm missing one as well but uh, this one i already had yeah so i have doubles of this now but yeah never a bad thing to have a double just in case and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i really liked to show you the contents here and yeah there is some opening videos of this tin here i think ruxin also opened one of these tins here on his channel so yeah if you want to see some booster packs getting opened i think he even pulled a black luster soldier <laughs> from the pack so he was really really lucky yeah just check out his video on that and yeah hope you enjoyed and you learned something new saw some cool packs and we will see us very very soon in a new video Stay tuned for that. See you then. Your bilingual duelist. Ciao.